Good day, new fans. It has been your Filipino friend here again, Genesis Jerlan, wishing you all a very special day and the best of luck. And I won't be tired giving you so much updates about the diversities in Indian in all sorts. Well, today I think it has been very interesting to showcase a very timely topic about the rich culture of India since I have seen that just on the 24th and 25th of this month, India has celebrated the Nong Krem Dance Festival. This is an annual event of Thanksgiving for the Good Harvest. Let me discuss that along the way as we go on through the said celebration and let's watch this video then. I hope you don't mind if I'm talking while viewing the video with you guys. You know, Nong Krem Festival is an annual festival of the Kasi tribe of Mikalaya. This festival takes place in Smith which is the cultura cultural center of Kasi Hills and this is about 11 kilometers away from the capital city of Shillong and last year if you had watched the celebration there were lots of tourists but since the pandemic is tight in the whole world only chosen had attended this year's celebration As you can see in the dance, they are really energetic. You can see the smiles on their faces while performing the dance. Those girls were so pretty on their dresses. And of course, those men are also handsome on their dresses too. The steps were danced over and over again. It is repeated all over again. But then, even if it's simple, it's really attractive, right? Last year, actually, there are lots of people and tourists gathered here, but now, as you can see, only few were chosen to celebrate. As you can see, they are actually having a protocol for COVID safety. The place is nice, right? This indigenous dance festival is celebrated in order to honor the powerful goddess Kabe Sinshar for blessing the people of the community with good harvest and prosperity. A 
As they say, the important element of the festival is that virgin women get dressed in their traditional dresses with heavy gold and other ornaments and perform a dance in a specially arranged festival field. And as you can see, the dresses of the women are actually Their dresses were designed with many ornaments. As you can see, girls were really dressed in an attractive color. in the video but the ritual actually includes the sacrifice of and then offerings are made to the deities and to the ancestors and after that it is this dance performance this festival is really very close to the hearts of the Kasi tribe well, it is actually the Kasi tribe that is celebrating this festival and the whole nation of India is just celebrating with them. Because this is the way of thanksgiving of the Kasi tribe for the good harvest and the good life that the goddess is giving them. For now, as I can see, there are also few tourists who visit the place for the celebration. Well, as you can see, the dance is really nice, right? with just simple steps but it is also attractive and they dance over and over and they didn't really get tired well I think the goddesses must be overwhelmed with joy and give them so much blessing for the whole year And because this is actually performed by the Virgin Women, you know, as you can see, there are only young girls who are performing this dance. And you know, here in Meghalaya, one aspect you will really like is festivals. They are really serious about their festivals. Well, I try to discuss some other festivals in my next videos. Or if you have any other festivals in mind that you want me to discuss, well, you can just suggest that on the comment box below. So that, let me see if I can include that on my next videos or I can do a videos regarding them. Here in Meghalaya, the locals and tribals, they celebrate the festivities with great enthusiasm. This dance festival is really quite popular in Meghalaya.
Anyway, um, if I have not mentioned, Nong Krem in itself means the goat killing ceremony. That is why I have told a while ago that before the dance ceremony, there is actually a goat killing wherein they are offering this goat to the goddess. The dance is really performed so delightful. And this um, festival is really a grand carnival which essentially involves a flow of wealth and environment depicting the religious belief of people. Well, as you can see, the yellow costumes are known as Jainsem. Those yellow costumes were by the girls. They are called Jainsem. And that was an intricate embroidered panels and tassels. Usually it is worn with a silver crown. Well, they have a silver crown head here. And that must consist various flowers. This festival is usually done depending on the lunar position that determines the exact time of the festival. So if the lunar position comes by May, then they must perform this festival by May or celebrate this festival by May or if since now the lunar position takes place by November and that was on last November 24 and 25th then last November and uh, 24 and 25th this festival takes place well the attire for men includes dotis full sleeve shirts, embroidered sleeveless coats and turbans. Well, truly that Meghalaya is a very distinctive state where you can find raw, untouched beauty of nature along with the quaint traditions and cultures. And it seems to be a perfect blend of sort of people who love to travel and the more you move in the hills of Meghalaya, the more you are likely to discover the enthusiasm of the people residing here. And that's truly a great uh, celebration of festivity. And that's the end of our reaction video, Nathan. So if you love that video, just comment watch on your mind below. Don't forget to like and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and help us grow. And all the best, Nipins. Have a blessed day.